Austru, Austru, dragă trăguță, Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță, Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea matale, Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale. Marika was to load me up on a small cart, sort of like a wheel cart with a donkey carrying the, the load and take me up to the mountains to her own village where she came from and place where no police, no army right, ever yes. came. Local people, very far, yeah. deep into the mountains. And she was going to pretend that I was an orphan of a Bulgarian family and I looked pretty Aryan. I didn't look uh, Jewish uh, uh, in the sense of Jewish, uh, you know, uh, 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 dark hair and... Olive oil, and olive, olive skin and, olive and the dark skin. hair and yeah. all that. And I was going to survive the war up in that village until my parents would have come back for me to look for me. Obviously, if my parents were to be loaded on the train to Treblinka, uh, they wouldn't have come back for me. But what did I know? My father just told me, you will go to Marika, to the house of Marika and nature, as soon as they come to get us. And to get us. Okay. Now, I was saved, we were saved, all of us were saved, the Bulgarian Jewish community of 50,000. We did not have to take the trains. The, 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 the trains left with empty boxcars. And real quick, the reason for the trains leaving with the empty boxcars was? Was because the king, Boris the church, III. Boris III, the church, and members of the parliament mobilized and objected to the decree or to the contract that was signed between Belev, the, the chief commissar, and Bakerley, the German uh, uh, representative, representative in Bulgaria. Of, of so the fact though uh, th there was uh, a strong lobbying and opening of the minds and yes. hearts of the Bulgarian Gentiles, uh, talking about the king and the parliamentarians and also the people of Bulgaria and the church and the church that strongly oppose any any Bulgarian for that matter whether they're Jewish or not exactly. to be taken out and uh, you know shipped to the gas chambers. Yeah. I'd like to conclude with only one beautiful moment. Thirty years later, in 1975, I myself, my wife Elaine and our four children, Adiva and Ariel and Leora and Eliana, went to visit Bulgaria on my sabbatical in 1975. And of course, when we got to Bulgaria, the first place we went to was to Bulgars. And I went on the to Black sea. on the Black Sea. Beautiful and city. I, 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 I drove into the into the little street where Marika lived and we got out of the car and the six of us are standing in front of her door and I knock on her door and she opened up the door and she screamed Enrico which was my name in Bulgaria my name was Henri uh, like Henry exactly in Bulgaria every Jew wanted to have a French name for their children because the French culture was the, the popular culture yes. and the sophisticated um, cosmopolitan a, thing exactly. to, be, to speak French so and to I English. was Henri and Henri became Enrico which is a diminutive uh, Henri and she screamed Enrico and she gives me a big hug like it's been only three weeks or three months and not 30 since years and not 30 years that we had not seen each other she recognized me immediately. I introduced her to my family, um, Elaine and the children. We, uh, her husband was, I believe, at that time very ill already. And uh, I took her 
and her son Stefan, the uh, good son, the good son, <laughs> uh, to uh, to uh, lunch or whatever it was in the local uh, uh, tavern or local um, uh, restaurant, and when my wife asked her a question, when Elaine asked me to ask her the question, what made you What motivated you to save my husband if God forbid the the parents the, 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 the expulsion had taken place? And she said, Look, I'm a Christian woman and as a Christian woman I could not allow a child that I have loved since he was born literally because she was also helping my mother right. with, uh, it's a, it's She a was like family basically. Family. Yeah. And I loved Enrico so much, how could I let those animals take uh, Enrico away? So for her was saying, look, I'm not a heroine, a, a big hero, or, or, or uh, uh, righteous Gentile uh, that has to be rewarded for what every human being should do. And this was probably the best statement that uh, I could hear from the person that was going to save me. She saved me for the sake of saving a human being, and if you save a human, one single human being, you save the whole world. That's right. Because this is what our Talmud teaches uh, our uh, us and our children and our grandchildren, and we try to emulate the the lesson of Marika. That's extraordinary, and uh, now that's an extraordinary story. Next time, next session, I would like to talk about Irene Good Opdyke, who was truly a righteous, righteous Gentile from from Poland, and I was responsible for her being recognized and awarded the the badge, the merit of righteous Gentile and honored by Yad Vashem and all that and this was all my doing. So if I have one mitzvah, one good deed that should be really uh, accompany my my resume book, book of life. Yeah book of life. In, in in heaven is the fact that I was responsible to recognize Irene Good G U T Obdike. O P O P D Y K E. Wow. Oh, God. Go, uh, yeah. Uh, God bike. Yeah. Irene God. Good G U T. Yeah. Good. Was was uh, her European name. Right. She married an American by the name of uh, Up Bill Updike. 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 So Up it became a God Good. Updike. Updike, exactly. Extraordinary. And I will tell you about it next time uh, uh, in, in my next uh, interview. This is extraordinary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Shalom, uh, Rabbi Shalom. Asad. Thank you. Thank Take you very care. much. Bye. Good night, everybody. Shai mai vrem, shai mai vrem, trecut să ană, Ca să te-nbrac, măi, până hramă. Să-ți cumpăr, să-ți cumpăr, cer cei măi ană, Dar eu n-am de unde, măi, cu adară. Auzi, dragă, fata, nechi, dragă, Aseară, bolivă, ta viceană. Șac cum nu sparale, să-ți cumpăr sandale, Buzunarele sunt goale ta Mai apoi trecuță, încă o băncuță Și băuie 